Necropolis League is well and truly underway in Path of Exile patch 3.24 is, uh, has been here for about a week, over a week. And today we are visiting PoE Ninja to quickly take a look at what's happening in the game because data is all that matters. What are people really truly playing? So top 5 ascendancies and dominating builds. This is what we're talking about today. If you enjoy these little overviews from me, give the video a quick like. Before we continue, I will very quickly acknowledge that while I generally publish Arc Witch builds, I can tell you that in this league I probably do not recommend league starting with it, and I will recommend something else. One of these builds or the one I'm specifically playing. So stay tuned, give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's talk about it. All right, so without any further ado, let's take a look at the dominating ascendancies. The first five that are of interest to us are the Necromancer, Deadeye, Hierophant, Inquisitor and Trickster. We have five ascendancies now kind of emerging as leaders. Take a look also while we're here in the top area of this interface. There are 77,000 characters created, at least registered, on PoE Ninja so far, which basically tells us that the league is off to a very good, now powerful start one week in, because overall, in case you don't know, uh, overall we are seeing about 100,000 characters towards the end of the league. So that's roughly how many are officially created during an average league in Path of Exile, or at the very least, the ones that are reflected on PoE Ninja one way or another. So as you can see, it's off to a very good start, a lot of people are playing, well, considerably a lot of people are playing. So what are necromancers playing this league? Well, let's take a look at the key skills that they're using. Obviously, it's not the only thing that's prolific to each one of these builds, but it is indicative to us in case you're new here. First of all, they are playing the Detonate Dead of Chain Reaction. Detonate Dead is not the playstyle that I personally prefer. I'm not saying it's weak or anything, it's probably an amazing thing, otherwise people wouldn't be playing it. But I personally don't play Detonate Dead, but never say never, I might. Then this is where I am a little bit surprised, I will be honest with you. <laughs> they are playing Mirror Arrow of Bombarding clones i would not pretend to know exactly the benefits of this or why would a necromancer play a mirror arrow i guess if clones are being created they are treated as minions this is not too hard to kind of assume here but this is new this is a newcomer this is something for us to keep an eye on what else are necromancers playing they are playing Summon Raging Spirit, and this is the build I am playing, my friends. I don't know what this list of people is playing, because builds vary a little bit. They mutate in the hands of, unless people are following the guide very strictly, I never do. I always try to make it cheaper, and I always make it try to make it more accessible, rather than invest divines upon divines, in case you are new to my videos, that's how I play. Uh, but I am very much enjoying it so far. I promise to you that something instead of Ark which I will be publishing as my video, as my build for this league and maybe possibly for the next one. Um, but a Summon Raging Spirit destroys everything if built right. Very cheaply, very very good build. Completely understand why. Uh, well, Detonite Dead overtook Summon Raging Spirit quite massively in terms of numbers of players. However, it's still in the top three for Necromancer. I'd be surprised if it was a lot lower. Now, enough with the Necromancer. Let's take a look at Deadeye. Oh my god, I'm so sick of seeing Deadeye at the top of the charts on POA Ninja. But at least Necromancer overtook it this league, isn't it? And it's Necropolis League, so it's about time for Necromancers to overtake. But Deadeye, what are Deadeye is doing? Lightning Arrow. A lightning arrow is no surprise, always a favorite, very very prolific build has been throughout different leagues and in Necropolis obviously people make it work. I personally am not a lightning arrow player, I do play uh, obviously Ranger and I do play Deadeye, I do play Pathfinder and stuff occasionally, but lightning arrow somehow is not something where I go. Spoiler alert, where I go are uh, Caustic Arrow and Toxic Rain, that's where I go. But People are playing <coughs> Lightning Arrow, excuse me. And then there are some Dead Eyes that are still Artillery Ballista and Val Lightning Arrow, obviously because Lightning Arrow is leading. Enough said here, I think it makes sense to us. What about Hero Fund? I quite like Totemic play. So what about Hero Fund? Oh well, they're playing Ice Nova of Frost Bolts. Very, very curious, very, very interesting. Uh, Ice Nova of Frost Bolts is obviously a Transfigured Gem, a very new one added in the Affliction League, previous league to Necropolis. And it, it, it might be worth for you to also go on to PoE Ninja, do that search, click on any of these people and take a look if any of their builds resonate with you. Now on to the uh, Ascendancy number 4, Inquisitors. 
What are Inquisitors doing this time? Well, they are doing the, again, one of those transfigured niche gems that I wouldn't know much about. Hex Black has Hex Blast of Contradiction. Wow, okay. But a lot of them are playing it, so maybe again something, a note to self here on a little post-it note to say maybe worth checking out. But in all honesty, if you even look at this, take a look at this. Uh, and Pre Penance Brand of Dissipation, while we're here, I'll mention it, both at 7% of people playing this. Penance Brand of Dissipation was a lot more popular previous league, but right now people are obviously playing something else, so even the strange Hex Blacks has Blast of Contradiction overtook it. Take it for what it is. Take it for what it is. Tell me in the comments down below if you think that you can explain this. I would love to. Uh, as long as people are not trolling, I always welcome people's opinions because it's interesting to stay mutually educated. I'm just drawing your attention to something. You might be able to explain it better. So, um, all right. So that's our Inquisitors. Not, I would not say a very strong entry because 7% at maximum of each one of the builds. Yeah, well, whatever. Finally, the Ascendancy trending Ascendancy number 5 is Trickster. Probably mines, I'm getting, guessing. Well, there is an Explosive Trap, close enough. Explosive Trap of Shrapnel. Okay, that's cool, because I remember vaguely from, the, from reading the patch notes now a week ago that they have buffed, if I'm not mistaken, Explosive Trap specifically of Shrapnel. So that's interesting. So people responded to it and are playing. Well, if you look at it, uh, if you even compare to the previously trending, uh, the one that we looked at, Inquisitor, it, here you see that Explosive Trap sh Shrapnel, 21% of Tricksters, although there are fewer Tricksters to start with, but 21% of them are playing it. That's pretty cool. But Exsanguinate, I did play Exsanguinate in the past. Um, I played, a, I, um, uh, yeah, and I quite enjoyed it in the past. I can't remember exactly my build. It was also a few leagues back. I think I was just more experimenting. Uh, but in this case, it looks like 30%, that's quite a few, quite a few tricksters that I went exsanguinate away. Okay, more power to them. And there you have it, my friends. Wouldn't hold you here for much longer than I have to. Uh, the league is off to a very good start. 77,000 characters created out of about average 100,000 that we see each league, at least on POA Ninja. Quite a few interesting builds. I'm glad, for example, that the, the leading for the past couple of leagues Dead Eye uh, Tornado Short has now disappeared, essentially. Tornado Short, let's take a look once again. Oh, yes, it's there at 9%, at but it disappeared from the top three. It, it dropped drastically. If you take a look at this Lightning Arrow and Elemental Hit of the Spectrum uh, are really, really dominating in Dead Eye space. And I like, when, I like when meta changes a little bit. I think that variety is healthy, both for players and for the game as a whole. But you let me know. What do you think? Because if you like playing something and then they nerf your favorite skill or something, it never feels particularly good. That's how I felt a league back, I think, if I'm not mistaken, when they nerfed Righteous Fire builds. And Righteous Fire stopped being a very, very solid, bulletproof league starter. That was annoying. And right now, also, Ark Witch is, like I said, not particularly viable any longer. It's a shame because I love the playstyle, but it's just simply not viable in the maps. Which is why, once again, to wrap this up, uh, and spoiler alert, and the bonus and the benefit to those who watch the video all the way through, there are like a handful of you maximum, my friends, you're very special, thank you very much for your support, is Necromancer Summon Raging Spirit. Can't go wrong with it, I'll be publishing my own build, my own video very, very soon, talking to you about that exactly. I hope you've enjoyed this little traffic control video that shows you what builds exist there, where to go, where to find them, you can click on them, go in, take a look at what each one of these people is doing um, and yeah it will give you an import string into the POB if you would really like to um, and more power to you my friend enjoy Necropolis League I certainly am enjoying it very much so far and I'll talk to you soon next week about something else Path of Exile related no doubt goodbye for now